Hey guys, it's Google again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Pixel Experience ROM for the OnePlus 3 which is based on Android Oreo 8.1 so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Pixel Experience ROM, as the name suggests, this ROM is meant to emulate what the Pixel phone, as the Pixel XL, mainly the Pixel 2 phone onto the OnePlus 3 ROM. So let's get started now. First of all, yes, it does have all the stuff which you will normally find in any other ROM. One thing, first thing, uh, double tap to wake does not work. That is something which I did notice. Here is the launcher. Launcher is the Pixel launcher, so you can customize a few things here and uh, it does work out really well. Let's go to the About Phone page. And the About Phone page, before everything, we already, as you can see, is working. No issues with that. Uh, I have rebooted a bunch of times, so installed the Magisk. Uh, all that is working. Now, I'm not running the OnePlus 3T. I do understand that some people have been having OnePlus 3T devices with problems with the internal data. I'm not having OnePlus 3T and this is a OnePlus 3 with decrypted internal storage. So keep that in mind. Let's go to the About Phone page. In the About Phone page, you have, it is OnePlus 3, it is Android 8.1, so you can see that. Security patches are January 5, so that is amazing. The kernel is Derp kernel, which is kernel available for Oreo ROMs. I haven't extensively tried it out or anything, but it is, uh, in my opinion, one of the better kernels available for this device as of now. SLSS is permissive. There are no other ROMs with enforcing it other than Omni ROM, I believe. So that's only one which is available. And that much is it in the system about phone page. As the name suggests, this is a pixel experience ROM. So it will have a lot of pixel-esque features like Google Lens, uh, unlimited storage, which does not work right by the way, so just keep that in mind. And a lot of styling elements from the Pixel phone. So that is the main claim of fame for this ROM. So it's mo mostly a stylized ROM and there's nothing wrong with that. Let's get started now. First of all, everything is basically working. You don't have any problems with this. I personally have not had any problem with this ROM yet. So I have been working out really well. The stability of the ROM is top notch. I really like this. Let's get to the features now. First of all, well, the features are not much to be said because it's the basic set of features. Pixel Experience or Pixel ROM does not have a lot of extra features like in many other ROMs. So this one doesn't have it either. A few other few notable stuff is in display options. You do have night light, you do have adaptive brightness, you can customize font sizes, ambient display is available for new notifications only, no always on options. There is the UI styling which changes the UI to black, dark or light as you can see right now. It is also available. Tap to wake. Now this one does not work. I'm not really sure why that is not working but uh, that is one of the problems which I have faced with this one. But that's okay. Other options, nothing special in any other stuff. So it does have OnePlus gesture options which is great. Uh, I love using this one but what I faced is that uh, you do have gesture options but uh, well what's happening is whenever you do okay V for flashlight is enabled if you do a V it haptic feedback is there but it doesn't activate so there's something problem with it but I'm gonna let it go because I mean I can live with that there is flashlight with this one so it works out really well in that there is a less slider options and there is swap button and I have been missing this one in a lot of ROMs uh, lately and I really like this option to be available in any ROM so that's pretty cool. Apart from that in the system options you do have button configuration and this is the DUI style button configuration so you have everything there so you have home button uh, you can customize with any of these options works out really well. There is also volume rocker customization, power menu customization is also available where you can customize this. There is advanced reboot, uh, airplane mode screenshot L can also be enabled from there. Uh, manage navigation bar, navigation bar can be customized and you can enable or disable whatever options you want. Works out really well. There is a lot to be had in this one so it does work out really well. Volume rocker wiki is available, volume answer key is available. It doesn't have volume keyboard cursor control which would have been nice to have but it's sadly not here. The uh, system UI tuner option, there is show brightness in the quick setting tile. You can disable that for a cleaner look if you are set at a automatic brightness. Saddle bar options can be enabled or disabled so you can disable VLT icon or any of these icon if you don't want that battery show percentage is available but for some reason the battery show percentage when charging was not working with this ROM so that's something there. 
Do not disturb on the volume select button, uh, lock screen options, uh, lock screen shortcuts can be customized. A lot of stuff which you can customize in here also. And there is also gesture that is double tap the power button to jump into camera. So you can actually customize that or work out really well. So that's pretty cool. And that is it in the feature section. And I know it's a little bit anemic but for a ROM which is pixel uh, centric and pixel uh, I guess modulating. I don't mind that because that is what this ROM is supposed to do so I, I can live with that. It's going to be cool. I'm going to give it 5 out of 10 though because it doesn't really have a lot of features. Now comes the battle life. The battle life has not been the best in class for me. I've been getting a pretty good or I would say decent battle life. It was about 1.6 percentage in idle brain. Not the best and uh, about 16 to 18 percentage of active brain which is again not the best i didn't see below 15 percentage in active brain which doesn't say a lot for the battle life on this one so that is something which i have noticed but it's not a problem i mean you can tweak it a little bit now all my rom reviews i do not tweak any of the battery settings just because i want to give you the raw experience and you want to if you want to tweak it you can do that yourself so that's something there there are a lot of options available try what you may so yeah battle life also i'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 because I've seen a little bit better battery life in any in other Oreo ROMs. Now the performance of the ROM. The performance of the ROM has been pretty good. Uh, I've been getting about 146,730 as an average and that is pretty cool. Uh, I have not gotten anything close to that in recent times so I'm going to give it a pretty good score. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 for this performance score. Now the stability and as I've already said the ROM has been rock solid for me for the stuff which it works. I mean, yes, there are a few kinks here and there, like stuff not working, uh, but it doesn't really detract me from the experience of using this ROM. I have been very happy with using this ROM. Yesterday I took it for a round, I took a few photographs, and it's been working out really well for me. And uh, I even got asked what kind of a software I'm running because they've never seen this on a OnePlus 3 ROM. And, uh, I've, I've shown them with 8.1, but they haven't seen pixelized ROM. So that was pretty good experience for me. So I really like that. I'm gonna give it a 7, 7 out of 10 for stability because it's been great. There's no issues with reboot. There's no issues with permission selection. So I'm really happy about that. Now the camera. Now, sadly enough, it doesn't come with Gcam as standard being a pixel ROM. I would have liked to have that, but I guess it's for the good because you need to update uh, Gcam from the forum time and again. So. It's good that it doesn't come with uh, Gcam. I can install Gcam myself and it does work out really well. I have installed the one with portrait mode and portrait mode does work out really well. I'm okay with that and uh, it's pretty good. Um, but I'm gonna give it a 6, point, 6 out of 10 because well, you know, that's how it is. And as you can see, there is the Google lens option which you can do. Uh, I haven't really tried it out a lot because I, I don't really care too much about this kind of thing. So. That's just personal preference thing though. Now the aesthetics of the ROM. The aesthetics of the ROM is pretty neat. Uh, as I've already said, this is a pixel emulating ROM. I haven't tried out OMS because on a ROM like this, OMS and uh, stuff like that would be deterrent. Uh, I, I don't want, if I'm using this ROM, I like the pixel style, right? It does go with that, it does have the blue accents. Uh, it, does, it does even have the curved corners, which is inbuilt and uh, I really like that. And also it does have options for customizing the status bar or UI. You can have it dark, which is uh, dark like this, which is a little translucent. Also you can have black if you don't want dark. So that does work out really well also. And I really like that, it does work out really well. So for the aesthetics, I'm gonna give it 7 out of 10 because it does get it done. Now the overall experience, the ROM is great. Uh, all the recent 8.1 and 8.0 ROMs which I've tested out, it's great. I might even just move to an 8.1 ROM. Not this one though because I like a little bit more features, but that's a personal preference. But this ROM does make it good in my books. It's a great ROM for people who want to use it. Bad life is the only thing which is kind of deterring for me, but I can use an AKG profile and tune it to what I need with the EX Kernel Manager, so that's not a big deal. But then again, as stock as it comes out, experience is great. So I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for overall experience. Let me show you guys a boot animation with this ROM and uh, as you can see, this is just amazing. I really like this one a lot. So here is the boot animation and as you would expect, 
a pixelized ROM to have a pixel boot animation. So that is about it. Uh, works out really well on the first board you will see a bar down at the bottom which goes and goes and goes so it, it, it's pretty good I like the boot animation on this ROM so I guess that brings it to this ROM again uh, I've been having pretty good experience with this ROM I really really like this yes it does, does not have all the features which I need yes it's not the most battery friendly ROM and yes it's not the best Oreo ROM out there but it's a very specific Oreo ROM which it's great for people who want to have a pixelized experience. I don't think you can get any more Pixel 2, Pixel 2 than this ROM with a GCAM mod. So I'm really, I'm really happy about that. Works out really well. Uh, the final score is about 6.4041450678. I'm gonna round it out to 6.4. That's a great ROM. I really like it. And in Oreo space, with a little more ROMs coming out. This might be something which I want to keep in mind because it's a great fallback ROM. And one more thing, this ROM does not require G apps to be installed. So whenever you're flashing it, don't use G apps. And well, the firmware is open beta latest on Oreo, which uh, at this moment is 29. So keep that in mind or else you won't be able to get VLT or something or the other which will go wrong. So yeah, keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm interested about the ROM and I hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe and like it if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.